Both teams are 0-1. Both but how teams did are 1 Play their game, obviously, because a different team was competing in their place. Okay, so Light Milkshake oh, is wow, currently on the right ridiculous. side. He's going to be heading towards the centre of the map. He's going to see multiple enemies. Takes up the stun hit, and he's going to get shut down. We're now on board with a revision. Quite successfully, and unfortunately and for me here, he's he going to be the watching the cave him. side. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's going to come for it. Looks like Lizo are all coming through the drill. They're going to be around the back of the hard point. Doesn't spot the enemy there. He's going to get shot in the back very, very soon. It does happen. Radify is very nice to pick up those scrap kills. So no team currently has spawns for this. I believe Lizo are in the best position here. They've managed to get around the back of hand and are currently pushing their way through to next hill, which... Hopefully they can claw back some points because 35 points, 40 points deficit, which is what it looks like it's going to turn out to be. And let's get these kills. Camigun does get some couple kills for his points. And we're moving on to the next hill. Currently in favour of Lizo. Very nice play. I like it. Give up the first hill, get a lot more points on the second one. On board with Ominous now. He's going to be behind two players. He is going to shut down that attack that's very nice play he's in this right side blue building he might see a person coming for sure he does see him does he win the gunfight he does not that's going to be a very poor situation for him to be in we've got milkshakes coming over from skywalk now he's going to be looking to attack the higher ground position maybe yet yeah, still higher ground position not many players expect yeah, milkshakes to definitely going to be looking to try and break the hill for lights they had a good lead early but how mm. does now got the lead Unfortunately, four lies over 16 seconds left. You're looking for both teams to start rotating now. How they're coming out of back hill on top by like 60 to 39. We're just gonna try and pick up this hill now. Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, Hound got so many points in the very first hill. I believe they've literally had about 10 points since the first hill which is very well played on Lizo's half they were so far behind but it just goes to show how important the second hill is and how important this third hill is now as it falls into the control of hand as they take the lead for the game um mike i hate to inform you this but you are the lead caster yeah but you've got the teams the wrong way around so currently Lizo are actually leading the game and you've named them the wrong way around <laughs> but you told me you told me that it was that Milkshake's a Lizo player. You are annoying. Me? Oh, mate, I've set up right over here. I've set up right over here when I went when I'm watching. I've set I asked. Up right. I asked and you never said. I said, yeah, but the, Lizo are hosting, so I expected them to obviously be that. Oh, but let's carry on anyway. Oh, you retard. Okay. But Milkshake was sitting there in the chat earlier, <clears throat> hoping that he'd have a 0 0.50 KD. He's currently 2 and 11, so he's not... um. To fit in what he wanted. Milkshake <laughs> currently rocking the 0.2 KD here. Um, it's not actually living up to the beef that was shown in the chat. The confidence there. Maybe he was shaking. Not sure. 2 and 11 with 26 seconds on the hill. Maybe isn't what you want to be doing for the team. I mean, at 20 points down, the attack is going to get shut down there by, by Dynamo. We're looking for a, a push here. It's, I just want to take this time to apologise again. You know, I've flipped the teams the wrong way around again. But we can blame it on the other caster, Sam. It's all his fault, so... I mean, I mean, not really. Hate. I mean, I actually... I, so, <laughs> I know every, like, basically every player for, like, all roster, so I already had it set up properly, but because Lizo are hosting, I thought they'd be going the blue team, so I just told you, yeah, Lizo are the host, blue team. <laughs> Anyway, so moving on, Milkshake is going to be in the hill here. He's going to be sitting there with an ERAD. The flame camo, rocking on, is going to be looking over for... He's looking over at cave side. No one seems to be there. There's call are coming in. He's just turned around. He's reacting to this four-man push from Lizo. Is he going to be able to do anything? Instantly shut down by a grenade. I mean, Hound, Lizo, Hound just seem to be running away with it again. The kills are there, the the pushes are coordinated, they're starting to build up a lead. There's a lot of contest time on this start hill, but I don't I don't see him clawing it back. Lizo is starting to get a couple more points now, but the hill's about to change within the next 15 seconds. Again it's back in hands control. What can has it do here? He's rotating over for the next hill, so Lizo are gonna be in control of spawns. 
and Lizo coming coming up behind hand, see if he can get this kill. Doesn't see him. We've got one player from Lizo down the back there, which does create the contest. It's very even between these two teams. Lizo starting to bring the points back up. Only 10 seconds behind them. Hand is starting to put the pressure on. A couple of score streaks came in there from Hand. Nice plays there from Ratify. Unfortunately, we're going to be on board with Garza, who is currently instantly dead. So we're on board with Dayak. He's currently on a two kill streak. He's currently got a bombardment actually. Wasn't able to pick up the warden though, but bombardment is going to be a very nice kill streak for either the drill hill, first hill, or the second hill, as you just saw there. Uh, this hill back here isn't really going to be much use for score streaks. It's going to come from Skywalk. It's going to come Push shots go down. Does get picked up by Arminus. New half point comes in. They're clearing out the hill very nicely. Gets three kills. Four kill streak now. Very nicely done. All four players down. Lots of time to build up a lead. Hound are starting to, starting to increase the length and size of this gap. It is looking like a runaway game once again. Well, I'm not sure how Lizer have kept this one close. If you look at the KDs between the teams here, Hound are absolutely outslaying this, and now they're taking control on the scoreboard as well. And I'm not sure how Hound have allowed this game to be so close while they're outslaying this much. I mean, when you're looking at the likes of Cami uh, Gun and Ominous, they both have under a minute in the hill. Um, there isn't really, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I mean, I'm guessing the pushes are just being shut down, um, or there, there has been, if, I mean, if we can see some stats or something, we'll be able to see how much contest time there was, um, very, very high contest time, which again, which shows why the scoreboards were so tight at one point, but now, we're edging on to an 80 point gap, which is tremendous, 60, 75 points now which Liza was starting to pull it back, instantly contested, now it's anybody's hill. And have to see who gets power of this hill, it's going to be Hound, Liza was spawned really far back, they've just got to try and stop this push, and stop this push here, I think they're, it's, it's almost game over for them. And Liza comes in for the 7 kill streak, make that 8, he's still going, he's got the Warden, Warden comes in, this looks like the game's getting closed off. Yeah, you know, Warden's going to make a huge play on these next two hills. This hill, actually the next three really, if you think this hill, the middle hill, and the one after that. And he's made a huge play for his team on a nine kill streak. With two minutes in hill, he's been the standout guy. Very, very much so. He's also got two streaks backing him up. He's got the bombardment, and he's got the missile strike. I forget what that thing's called, but anyway. He just he's had going. the highest streak of any player in the EET Season 1, though, of 11. Two other players got 10, one earlier today and one on Wednesday's fixtures. And he currently has the highest kill streak in the EET Season 1 of 11. And that is game. Hound have taken 126. Comments in the chat Hound were Ustam underestimated as F. Very much so. It seems Lizo with a favourite at the start, but now all of a sudden, Hound have just run away with it. Well, you know, how they compete in different... Uh